Does this sound good? Are we ready? And please give us your name as well, okay? So we'll go to my left here. Would you like to start us off? Hi. Hey. Oh, that sounds good. My name's Amy, um, and also, like, hi. Hi, hi Amy. <laughs> so, with Ash's journey sadly over, I was wondering if you guys could answer in character, um, how does Misty feel about Ash not giving her a new bike? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, are, are we still talking about that old thing? I mean, uh, uh, Ash, um, uh, Ash, 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 hello, hello, over here, Miss, uh, right yeah. here. Uh, I think I can hear you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm right here. Oh, hey, you hey, can't miss you. Hello, <laughs> moving, moving target. Um, yeah, you know, I found a whole bunch of mics online. I've chosen my top five that I want you to buy for me, and you choose one of them and I'll tell you whether or not you're going to buy it. If you, if you pick one and I don't like it, then I'll just, I'll just control everything. Awesome, Misty, because mostly we barter here and I, I have no money. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me ask my mom, or better yet, Mr. Mine. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and that's a deleted scene from the movie you never saw. Okay, to the other side here. Hello, my name's Matt. Hello. Pleasure to meet you all. Um, I, first of all, I just wanted to say um, a big thank you personally from me as, as an inspiring voice actor and hearing you throughout my childhood. It's been an incredible journey and wonderful to hear and it's been an inspiration to me and probably several others here. So first of all, thank you for everything that you've done and everything you're continuing to do. So thank you for that. Um, but one question I always ask myself as a kid, um, if you were all yourselves to start your adventure as a Pokemon trainer and you could choose any Pokemon to be your starter for your entire adventure, who would it be? That's easy, I'm Squirtle and the entire Squirtle squad. That would be Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> and I, I know he's... I have to say Mewtwo, um, he's my soul, so none of these humans, unique humans. Plus he's got great thighs. Yeah, he's so he can really carry you and like And he's yeah. the most powerful Pokemon. I can't say anything other, so um it's Mewtwo. Um, I would choose Gyarados. I love uh, water Pokemon. It's not it's I don't know, it sounds like a bias. But uh, either that or Jigglypuff. Yes. I would take Pikachu. I think um, their relationship is so great. And I think it's a true testament to how, how life is never easy. We often have to compromise. But the best results often come from that as well. Good. All the wrong answers. It's Togepi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck to you with your career. And just to the side here. Hello. Can you reach? Hello. 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 My name is Monique and my question is, how do you think you connected with your characters in the movie? Or if there's anything special that you kind of connected with your character or your Pokemon that you had? They need my job. Yeah. Good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Who wants to start with that? Um, well, uh, Jesse is, um, I guess, both in the movie and in the TV series. I connected with her because um, she just, I, I think it was because of her, the team uh, energy that she had with Team Rocket. I think because they played off each other so well. I didn't relate to her as easily, but because of that dynamic, I got into her character more. and. I love backstory episodes, so whenever we found out more about her, I enjoyed that, so it helped me. And with Misty, Misty's the youngest of four girls, I'm the youngest of six girls, so that completely made sense to me at the get-go. In fact, when we first meet Misty's sisters, they're being, you know, mean to her. <laughs> and um, the director said, okay, Misty's sisters are mean to her, and I said, yeah, I got this. <laughs> But it was 
not, not that my sisters were always mean to me, but you know how this whole sibling dynamic works. But yeah, I would say those are the, those are the ways I did. For me, um, the first three words that Mewtwo speaks are, who am I? And that's really what my journey's been about. And he becomes a spiritual character. He becomes someone who actually literally roams his world and tries to figure out why he's created. And he's very angry about it. And I've had many angry moments in my life. But mostly what grounds me is my, my connection spiritually to something bigger than myself. And I think that's what he finds along the way. And for someone who's you know born angry and somewhat evil and malicious, to find something that's higher than himself is quite profound, and I'm very grateful to be a part of his journey. So my connection, let's see. I went to a school that was really funky and hippy-dippy and whatever, and we used to play sports against very, very posh private schools. And so my connection with James at first was to figure out a way to be one of the Crane brothers, Frazier, Niles, and James. Um, I was sort of playing on that, but his personality, I felt like Team Rocket's comedy. I related to that. And to make friends in school, I was the new kid in school. My thing was, if I can make people laugh, maybe I'll make friends. That was my, my entree. So I loved the comedy. I felt like Team Rocket didn't really care what else was going on in the episode. My job for those short moments when we appeared um, alongside Rachel is, I'm going to make you laugh. So I loved that part of him. I loved his witty lines that were designed for the parents that had to bring their kids to see the Pokemon movie, which you are now discovering what the double entendres were that I was saying now that you're an adult. Um, not things that were inappropriate, but things that were definitely, and as for Brock, being a boy in high school, distracted by shiny things, well, that's pretty much life imitating art. I can relate. I think what, what appealed to me about Ash was just that he was overall positive and gung-ho, and he just did it. And I love that. I played a lot of sports when I was growing up and through college, and I thought that just how athletic he was and kind of fallible. I just, I really loved that. I think he, he is all of us. And it was lovely to play him and jump into those sneakers. Awesome, and well done, that was an amazing question. Yeah. Question. Uh, we'll jump to the other side here. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ibrahim. Hey. Firstly, just want Hello. to uh, echo a very sincere thank you for everything you've done. I was born into a world of Pokemon, so it's very much all I've known. I feel like, similar to many others, when I found out the journey was ending, it low-key did kind of break my heart. And so my question is, what is one of the life lessons that you've learned from each of the characters you portray, and how you would adopt that afterwards, and how you would recommend us in carrying on that journey, as Veronica said, how we can adopt that life lesson as well. Mm. So it might sound question. cliche, but I'm gonna say it's friendship, it's relationships, it's how you interact with other people. I think these characters, I mean, I, I, could, I don't think I'm going out on a limb to say I don't think Ash hates Team Rocket. No. No, right? They're not, they're not fighting with each other. There's a dynamic with all of them. And it, the lesson that I got from the moral of this show and this series was how you treat other people. That's really, you know, that really is the, we should be kinder as people. For me, I mean, it's, it's very much in the philosophy of Mewtwo at the end. He, he comes to a place where he says, it doesn't matter how we got here. It's what you do with your life that determines who you are. And that's, that's very much what I've learned on my journey. So. That's it for me. I, I very much agree with, with uh, Eric and Jay. Those are very, very much so. Um, I guess from, I guess from Team Rocket's uh, adventures, um, I learned that, um, you know how they say the uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I think Team Rocket 
was doing the same thing over and over again. They were trying different ways to get the same objective, but they never could quite do it. And in the canon, we learned that Team Rocket just kind of moved on and they did something else with their lives. And I think that's a very important thing to know is that how to let go at the right time. Uh, once you've found your family, you found your tribe, hopefully. Um, and I think uh, Ash, Misty, and Brock were an example of people who had already kind of found their peace and their tribe. And maybe Team Rocket was kind of aspiring to that in a way. Um, so that's something I really, really grew to appreciate playing those characters. I agree with all three points, and I would just like to add on top that I think from Ash we learned that it's you are stronger when you help others achieve their goals when you are on the path to achieving your own. That we are stronger together and that um, we're better for helping others than just thinking about ourselves. So I think all of it goes back to community and friendship and purpose and timing, I suppose, knowing yourself to know when to move forward and when to let go. Yeah, amazing. It's just a cartoon, but you know, it's so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, and it know. turns out our next question is from the real star of Pokemon. It's actually Pikachu. Oh, finally. Hey, Pikachu. Hey, Pikachu. Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, my name is Jane, and my question is, if you had the chance to meet the character slash characters that you voice, what would you say to them? Uh, good job. I mean... Good job! You've done so well, Ash! <laughs> Do we have to tell, we just tell them as, as like Eric would be saying this to no, Brock, I, right? I am Delia. I would tell Brock, hey, just dial it back a little bit. <laughs> you know how to cook, you know how to clean, you're a good guy. If you just dialed it back, you would probably find that partner you were looking for. And with James, I would say, I, l I understand the collection of the bottle cap stuff. I'm a collector of things too, um, but uh, just don't become a hoarder. That's what I would tell them. No way to let go. <laughs> yes. I would say to you too, you need to work the upper body next time you're at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> On the biceps in particular, the chest needs some work. Yeah. The thighs you can leave alone for the rest of your life. <laughs> and to Dr. Fuji, I would say thank you for creating you too, because we got, but again, Upper body. Yeah. You can skip leg day. <laughs> yes, leg no more legs. Any calves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, to Misty, I would say um, it's going to be okay. Your sisters are uh, going to come back. I'm sure you're going to be a fine gym leader. It's going to work out. Uh, to and you know appreciate your friendships and. Just be okay with it, they'll come back to you. Um, and to Jesse, I suppose, I would say, you know, you have a really good thing with your friends here, and you don't need Team Rocket to feel a part of something. You already are a part of something. So, yeah, I would probably tell them both to chill out a little bit. Um, and I will also tell Jigglypuff to chill out a little bit. I don't know what it says that I keep voicing all these hyperactive <laughs> characters, but yeah, I, I think they, I think they all uh, were a little extreme and then they kind of pulled back. Awesome. I'm still trying to get over the fact Mewtwo's the only Pokemon that only does leg day. Everyone else forgets, but Mew's like, leg day. Yeah, just... Right, what we're going to do, because we've only got 10 minutes, I want to try and get through as many questions as possible. Yep. We're going to do quick fire Question. Here we go, speed okay. round. So we'll start on the other side here. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Alex. Um, firstly, I'm 25, so I've been born with this. What is your favourite piece of Pokemon memorabilia that you guys have? I'm going to say the drawings that people have brought me. Incredible. Uh, yeah, she took my answer, so I'm going to say I have a Squirtle tag on my... Uh, luggage that I, I love to I just love to subtly flash that around to see if anyone notices yes. Same for me with regards to what Veronica said the artwork people bring up is incredible and some of it just Just an amazing artwork and, and someone brought me a Mewtwo puppet a marionette, which is just unbelievable 
yeah, artwork and the sculptures. People make a, sculptures out of clay, resins, and everything. The creativity is amazing. That's unbelievable. I'm going to draw you all the worst version of your characters, and then you're going to have to fake and join us from it. Like, wow! That's I don't still like it yeah. from you. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to draw you a picture later now, Ryan. Right, thank you for the Great question. question. Uh, thank next you. quick fire question. Boom. On behalf of those of those who started watching it at the age of 10 when it first came out, I just want to say thank you. You really helped us all. And for those of us now who are a bit older, did you ever see the Dad Bikini episode? Yes. <laughs> I did not. Because I was on the production side, so I got to see all the crazy stuff. That's a key episode? <laughs> and we can go very deep into why that was banned, but I will tell you this. Movies like Some Like It Hot, shows like Bosom Buddies, movies like Tootsie, and all of those things have corrupted me. Oh wait, no they haven't. <laughs> okay, we'll move on, on the other side here. Hi, Charlotte Vickridge. Um, my question was, um, have either of you played either the original games or watched the Japanese versions of the episodes in the movie and see how they differ? We didn't watch a lot of the original uh, episodes. Well, because I was directing the show, I had to watch original stuff, but not as an actor, but, but behind the scenes, yes. And no, I've never played the game. I'm a Destiny 2 player, okay? All right. I was lucky enough to see the film, the Japanese version of the film. Someone got a pirated copy of it. It's very hard to find over here, but you see bits of it on YouTube. But I, I got to see the whole thing um, in a pirated copy of the original film. Uh, the only time I ever saw the Japanese version of it was at the very first audition for Pokemon when they were showing a loop on the video. That was it. It was like five minutes of it. And the only game I've ever played is uh, Pokemon Pinball. That's, That's the only one. I've played a little Pokemon Red and Pokemon Go. Good question. Thank, Thank you. you. Brock. Oh, wow. Brock. Hello. Brock, like I said, what is your question? Dial it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm Rob. I was just wondering sort of how you find the character and how you channel them when you're on the set or on the set trying to put up what's on screen. How do we cha channel them? Yeah. I think all the characters we play have a little bit of any actor, right? You want to bring your personality to it, a piece of that. Um, I, I, especially with these characters, um, there are definitely parts of me in all of the characters that I voice. I mean, Brock, as I said, you know, I could definitely relate to that. But I think we all have different approaches to how we act, right? How we do that. Um, I draw from my reality. I definitely do that. Same here. Exactly what he said. That, that would be the same for me. Um, and I was feeling particularly lonely at the time, so that was why. Just broken up from a relationship, and I, you know, Mewtwo was very much there, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you, you uh, don't have, I think in this particular instance, in this particular job, in my experience, we didn't have a lot of raw material to work from. I didn't get a lot of descriptions. So it was really step by step, scene by scene, line by line. And I don't think the production team knew a lot about it no. at the beginning. Yeah. So we all found out together. So it was almost like an ensemble effort to figure out who these characters were. You're really playing the moment from the script, looking at the picture, and trying to just fill the moment. So, thank yeah. you. Yeah, Brilliant. good question, Brock. Have fun on your journey. And you look amazing, by the way, as yeah, well. Excellent okay. cosplay. Thank you. Um, to the other side here, quick fire question. Hello there. Um, my name's Michael. Um, very quick, well, I'll try to be quick anyway. So I can ask you a million things. Um, uh, thank you, just thank you, echoing everyone that said it. Thank you. you huge impact on my life. Um, my wife often says, when I say I love her, she goes, well, is it as much as Pokemon? So we have that back on the <laughs> But a uh, quick question is, um, what's your favorite line you've said in your replies rules throughout the series? I'll just use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say the same. I know it's repetitive, but it is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. Prepare for Chirapa. <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you! Awesome. Good question, thank you. I knew you were going to say that. Alright, uh, next. Uh, hi, my name's Patrick, and my question is, what do you think Ash's legacy has been for the show? I think that Ash has taught us that it's okay to be yourself, that you can um, even though you're trying to find your way, 
you can still help others find theirs. And I think that all of us carry on his journey because we are Ash. And I think he's, he has taught us that to go for your goals, know that the path to get to it is quite windy, but to just enjoy every minute along the way. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, next question on the other side here. First of all, how is the Technics Taylor? And from Scandinavia, thank you so much for our childhood and being part of our lives. Thank you. But ask my question, if you guys lived in the Pokemon world, what kind of job would you have? Trainer, gym leader, professor, what? Oh, wow. I've never thought of that. What job would we have? I think I might be working research because I used to do that. I used to wear a lab coat and work in a lab and I probably would be a Professor Oak kind of, or Oak adjacent character. <laughs> Do, do they have like a Pokemon like rescue? Because I, I do a lot of stuff with like rescue animals and stuff like that. I think that I would do that. I would try to find homes for abandoned Pokemon. Why are the Team Rocket players so called that wholesome? <laughs> oh, you asked Eric. You didn't ask the character. <laughs> I think for you too, he'd be some kind of spiritual advisor for people. I think he'd, he'd find a, a way to offer advice to people on some level. Uh, he, might, he might even go into some sort of Organized religion, I don't know. Me too. Me too. Me too. And he would be working people out at the gym constantly. Yeah, leg day, leg day. I think I would hope to be able to become a master and then a mentor, master mentor along the way to help people and maybe um, help them learn how to read maps. It's quite handy in the Pokemon world. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, thank you thank so you. much for asking. I am going to have to be so mean here and say this is going to have to be the last question of the panel. However, they are here all day and they are the autographs, so if you want to go ask them there, you can go see them. So Ace Ventura there will have to be our last question. Sorry guys, you'll have to head back to your seats there. Uh, a final question, please. No pressure for this one then. When is the Pokemon coming in 25 years now, the next 25 years? A very old Eric Stewart stumbling onto the stage. <laughs> ah, um, better upper body. That's what I'm working for. Yeah. Twenty-five years from now, um, I think it's probably going to. I think I think it might take a break for a while. I think it might go on hiatus and then come back in a slightly different form. That's. They might take a break and it'll come back and I don't know. I, maybe they'll try to do what they did before, but in a very different way. I don't know. That's a good question. Good. The interesting thing is how through all of these years, like I said, I've seen so many of you when you were 10, when you graduated from university, when you found a spouse, when you brought your kids over in 25 years your kids will be bringing their kids. <laughs> that is a lot to think about. But the amazing thing about Pokemon is that it does live inside all of us and we find some comfort in it and something exciting to pass along to our family, to our friends. So I do hope that what we love about Pokemon is what we carry into the future with us. And I hope that we all can gather again. Well, before then too but that we can gather again to talk about where our lives have taken us and how this little boat of Pokemon has floated us along the river together. And then we can dock in places and join up and get back on our boats. But I do hope that it's something that we can continue to carry along with us because I know for all of us, it has changed our lives in the most positive way as you have changed our lives in the most positive way. And I sure do hope we can continue to do that. Um, I think the world of all of you. So thank you so much for this. Thank you. Thank you. I also need to get a photo before we go from the stage. So if you guys... Do you want me to take a photo of the four of you with the crowd? Yes, we do. We've got to. This is a landmark moment. And you guys are part of it. So thank you. Yeah, let's take a photo of you. If you guys want to jump in the front here, I'll take a photo.
Well, yeah, guys, no, no, you have to stay in your seats, unfortunately. <laughs> Health and safety, they're going to stand here, but if you go to your seats, we will get you all in. We cannot have you at the front of the stage, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to make a lot of noise and cheer? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm going to try and get everybody in as well to show how amazing this is. On three, I want lots of noise. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, these have been your amazing Pokemon cast. Let's hear it one more time.